Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I know this has been a awaited video because I see a lot of comments on my last video about eating well and how you can earn a dollar per word writing for that website. I know a lot of you guys think that the website is fake, you're not finding the email address, you're not finding the submission guidelines, you're not sure what needs to be done and there is a lot of confusion around it. So I have made another video to clarify all of that and also give you five other alternatives to eating well wherein you can pitch them, write for them and get paid well. Hi guys, I'm Shavi, a YouTuber, a blogger, a freelance writer and an online business coach. We create videos about making money online each and every week. Click on the red icon below and subscribe to my channel guys. Now let's get started. First things first about eating well. Eating well is a legitimate website that talks about mm -hmm. eating healthy and nutrition and fitness and all of that. Now, when you are going to be pitching to a website that big and that standardized, you need to have some mm -hmm. kind of content that attracts them, that uh, intrigues them and then builds that interest. You cannot be like, I'm going to write five recipes or let's say I'm just going to write five healthy food. That's not going to work out. Eating Well is a very big website and they are looking for quality content. So be truthful to yourself and ask yourself whether or not what you're pitching, whether or not the kind of content you're pitching is up to the mark to go to such a big website. So just think about it. Can you pitch that to entrepreneur.com? Can you pitch that to Forbes? Can you pitch that to Business Insider? Can you see that kind of articles on MSN or Yahoo? If you can't, then this is not up to the standard, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing, these guys get flooded with pitches left, right and center. So if you're not hearing from them within two weeks to two months, then it is time to move on. So either reach out to another channel or another website or pitch them another idea or a topic. Now. Eating well is not accepting any kind of submissions anymore. They have in fact gone one step ahead and removed the submission guidelines from their website. I don't know why, but maybe one of the reasons is that they have closed down their print subscriptions. Their, their print media is what got closed back in February 2022 and now they are calling themselves a digital only brand. That means a lot of things must have changed. A lot of things must have been in the works and maybe they'll come up with new guidelines for their digital only brand. That's one reason. Or the second reason is that they were flooded with so many, so many submissions that they did not want to open up or they did not want to have those, get those emails every day. And that is why they have closed down. I know a lot of websites do that. They close down for most of the year. They'll open up one month. They'll get enough number of pitches and then close down their submissions again. So probably that would have happened with eating well. But the thing is that you cannot pitch them anymore because they are not open to getting those submissions. So it's time to move on. And that is why I have five more options for you. So let's go to my laptop and let's figure it out. So the first option that we are going to talk about is travel plus leisure. As the name suggests, they are of course looking for trip ideas, travel guides, world's best destinations, tips, planning, cruises, etc. So you can see uh, they are up for anything that is adventure, active travel, history, solo trips, luxury, art, spa vacations, multi-generational travel, food, wine, RVs, private jets, etc. They have very specifically mentioned what they want from a certain pitch. So your paragraph, that is the email that you are going to write to them, needs to have a topic and an angle. So when they say an angle, you need to have an opinion about that topic. You need to give something more than just a listicle. The scope of the story, why we should cover it. So you need to give them a reason of why they should consider it. So a strong opinion or your point of view or your experience adds on to this. So that is what works in establishing why they should cover it. Why are you the writer for the job? So if you've personally experienced something that um, makes a very strong argument of why you should be writing about it. And of course, they want to know whether or not you have traveled it yet because nobody wants to do uh, cover something or publish something from a writer who is just going to do some couple of Google searches 
and write an article on that. So if you have some kind of personal experience is when you can actually have an opinion or an answer to that story. So make sure that your pitch answers each and every uh, angle that they're talking about in this pitch. They've also mentioned what they don't want from a pitch. So if your pitch, your idea falls into any of these categories, please uh, come up with another idea. So a list of places you're going to that doesn't work. A forwarded press release, a couple of sentences with no real angle. A pitch that will justify you going on a press trip, no. A story you have already written for someone else and story that's already appeared on Travel Plus Leisure. So if they have already covered on their website, that's not going to work. You can just do a simple search from here and see whether or not they have covered it. What to expect when you pitch? So they have clearly said that they receive a lot of um, emails. So you are so you should feel free to follow up and uh, if you don't hear back follow up again and uh, if you don't hear back just move on this is where they tell you how to pitch the digital print of travel plus leisure and that is what you should be looking at most of their stories are going to be 300 to 500 words or general travel stories and first person storytelling or so listicles that is what you will be mostly writing it should be about 500 to 2000 plus words. So they're looking for unique stories, in-depth look. So for example, if you're pitching a story on bird watching in Colombia, please be sure to include in your story the binoculars you use or the places that offer the best watching opportunity. So there has to be some kind of inspiration or a service element to it. So there needs to be some takeaway for the right, uh, takeaway for the reader. They do not pay by the word count and depending on what kind of um, article or what kind of piece you're writing for travel plus leisure, you will be paid a flat rate and editor will share the rate list with you. So here are the list of all the editors. So depending on what you're going to pitch them, choose your editor. So um, Nina manages daily SEO and e-com stories and podcast. Personal essays, first person narratives, reported features, profiles, evergreen and seasonal SEO stories and roundups, travel tips and trends are handled by Alicia. Similarly, uh, you can see that Christine is a senior news editor, travel news explainers and first person experiences that expand on how timely news is affecting travelers, service pages, wellness trends and tips. That's going to go to Christine. So you can see which one fits the best the kind of story that you are pitching to travel plus leisure and then pick your editor accordingly okay so this is how uh, travel plus leisure is going to work for you so let's say that if i was to write something about surfing i'm just going to go and see um, what kind of stories they have covered for surfing so you can go to volcano surfing how cold water surfing in arctic Norway inspired one designer's new accessory line Okay, seven beautiful Costa Rica beach resorts for surfing, swimming and sunbathing. So I could do something like why uh, Mantra Surf Club is one of the best to go to Mulki or I could do a roundup on um, seven most beautiful um, surfing schools for learning how to surf in India. On my personal experience on how everything went from um, Mantra Surf Club. On my unique angle on how surfing in Mantra made me realize something about my life or my business or how it helped me build one section of my uh, business. So when I went to Mantra after doing that trip for almost a week, it did give me a lot of ideas on how I could expand my business or the kind of content that I can cover on my business on my blog on my youtube channel and uh, how it worked out so i could eventually maybe pitch a story to travel plus leisure talking about how my experience learning surfing um, inspired me to create a new line of content in my business and how it really worked out well the second is well-being so this is a great alternative to eating well you can send your submission to our editor here so when once you click that it will directly take you to your email and you can email the editor you can uh, read their blog guidelines here. Now this is their area of interest. So this is what you need to be writing about. So natural health, spirituality or ways to reconnect. So let's say that you have been, um, you have gone to 
vipassana center and how it changed your life or how it helped you reconnect or how it helped you solve a problem or how it helped you create a new business or how it helped you get out of your personal uh, crisis natural therapies fitness environment animal whole food cooking travel children real life experiences so you could pitch stories about any of these they are looking for empowering informative and entertaining articles so make sure that you have a very strong angle to what you are going to be pitching so these are the editorial policy and style guidelines go through each and every sentence at least twice to understand what they are trying to tell you they have mentioned the payment here so the feature article is going to pay you somewhere around 600 to 700 australian dollars so that's good amount of money and these are the submission rules so make sure that you are going to follow each and every word that is written here again the it's the same thing that goes here so um, let's say that i was about let's say i was going to write about meditation let's see <coughs> The heart of yoga, looking to add more calm and ease, contentment. Try Zen meditation. So, maybe looking to uh, you know, if you have gone through a meditation course or if you've taken something like as as difficult as vipassana, that is something that you could definitely pitch them. How maybe meditation helped you uh, strengthen your immune system or deal with pain or deal with some other kind of problem in your life or in your business or how you know you could control your breathing cycle and soothe your soul there are a lot of angles that you can take up if you want to write about meditation for example and you can see that they have covered certain angle but they have not covered vipassana so that is one thing that you can pitch them the next one is serious eats is it's a part of medium so you can go through the guidelines here and uh, you can pitch ideas directly to medium at seriouseats.com so you're going to be sending the pitch there the length needs to be 800 to 2000 words the topic needs to be anything that is related to cooking eating and food there's format and point and all of that so go through each thing um, they pay hundred dollars for each submission that is accepted so that's good money that's almost about seven thousand to seven thousand five hundred rnr and if whatever you have written is well received by the audience they will buy more pieces from you and pay you more so make sure that you know you create a good impression and the first pitch that you are sending is something that fits really well with their audience it's it's new it's original it's uh, it has a very strong angle next one that i'm going to be talking about is um, income diary so as it suggests they are looking for something which relates to content creation entrepreneurship making money online driving traffic seo etc so again they are clearly mentioning they have high standards so please when you're pitching something don't pitch something which is very generic which does not um, meet the high standards or does not have an angle does not have a strong opinion or does not have something which is unique to it they pay 200 dollars for the article so that's good amount of money you're almost getting 14 000 rupees for it which is good You can write about, um, you know, you can interview experts, buying, selling websites, driving traffic, search engine optimization, creating um, awesome websites, blog design, making money, affiliate marketing, entrepreneurship, success mindset. They have also shared some of the most successful posts that are guest posts. So you can read that and learn from there. And you can submit your article here. Get it out. So these are the five options that you have. There are only a few tips that I want to give you. First, please don't pitch just about anything to them. Read through their guidelines. Think about it. Come up with something more critical, some of your exp own experiences and talk about something that would be new to their audience. Go through their website and check whether or not what you're pitching has been already covered. If it is, do you have any specific angle or anything new to add to it and mention that in your pitch the third one is if you do not hear from them within a month or two move ahead like just move on and go to the next website or uh, pitch them with another idea and the last but not the least 
if you want to make money writing this is surely not the way to go this is just if you want to earn a few extra bucks but if you are a writer you want to make money freelance writing then you need to find your own clients or work with a company or do something else you cannot be uh, relying on pitching editors and be at their mercy of them accepting your pitches and then you're writing your article and then it gets uh, you know approved and then you get paid this is not how freelance writing works so if you want to be a serious writer you want to make money with your writing look into how to become a freelance writer this is the video that will help you out to get started i also have a free training that you can grab from the description box below so i hope this video helped you out guys if you have any questions about writing for websites if you have any questions about you know how to reach out or how to pitch just let me know in the comment section below and i will create another video for you or I, if it is a small question i'll definitely answer it in the comments below and i'll see you next week guys bye bye okay. wait 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 if you haven't already Click on the red icon below and subscribe to my channel guys. Now, finally, bye.